Okay, so as you can see right here, I have um, bounced down um, the Waves Tune Repaired audio which is right here and it's color coded and now we're going to be moving on to the Melodyne uh, plugin now as far as I remember I believe Melodyne is the first or originator of this type of audio editing or modification um, it's the original bad boy and when I first started using it a few years back um, I was so impressed I just couldn't believe the power of this plugin uh, hence I've left it till last. So uh, let's get straight into it. Okay so the interface it's quite different to the others. Um, now you've got some controls at the top here and you've got your scale on the side. Um, one of the things I do like about uh, Melodyne is the fact that you can adjust the screen area that you're going to be working in. It just gives you a bit more room to work with. Okay, I'm going to shut this here and just give myself just that little bit extra room. Okay. Now, again, just like the other plugins, um, what we need to do is actually capture the audio. And what, to do that, we need to press the transfer button up here and press play. Saw you the other day. Said you were on your way But your expressions told me you were lost I wanted to lend a hand So you knew I would understand Won't you give me a chance So that I can talk to you Oh Okay, so now that we've captured our audio, we can have a quick look, see what we've got. And you can see the blobs on the screen right here. Um, let's just get that all centered. Okay, so to zoom in, what we're gonna do is click on the uh, pointer tool, grab the zoom tool and just click and drag. Okay, that allows us to get in a bit closer. Now that's horizontal, so that's our, our horizontal zoom and our vertical zoom okay and let's go back to the pointer and there we go um, now we can scroll using the scroll bar right here okay so um, what's great about Melodyne is that of course there's a lot of functionality a lot of power in this in this plugin um, a lot of it is not visible straight away the tools that I'm talking about so if you click here you've got uh, different tools under these menus um, but I assure you this is an incredibly powerful tool and what I will be doing um, in follow-up videos is doing um, tutorials on the individual plugins um, and just sort of getting more deeply into their functionality but for now we're just gonna uh, just do a quick overview so if I click on this first blob right here click on that up here it tells me what the note is it also tells me how off-center um, the the actual blob or note is to the reference note so for example this although it's saying it's a D sharp 4 it's actually D sharp 4 and it's um, 43 cents um, sharp uh, so I might want to adjust that to make it um, a more accurate in terms of the center point of the note I can click here and I can pull this down so it's dead on okay so you can get really really fine with this okay okay so just as we did with the previous uh, plugins we're gonna actually snap everything exactly to the nearest uh, semitone um, so to do this we're gonna right click select all we're gonna click on this correct pitch macro and we're simply going to grab the pitch center and drag that along and as you can see the notes are sliding to the nearest semitone can hit OK and what we're going to do we're just going to play that back saw you the other day 
Okay, so this one right here. I'm going to pull that up here. We're going to start again. Double click here. The. Let's try that. Saw you the other day. Saw you the other day. Said you were on. Pull this up. Said you were on your way. Pull this up. Said you were on your way. Way. Said you were on your way. But your expressions told me you were lost. But your expressions told me you were lost. I wanted to. Want. I wanted to lend. Want. I wanted to lend a hand. Hand. I wanted to lend a hand. So you knew I would understand. Won't you give me a. So what we need to do is we need to split this note. Pull this one up. And we're going to just make this exactly on point. This one as well. Double click. And this one. You give me a chance so that I can talk to you. Oh, 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 I can talk to you. Oh. Okay, so that's it in a nutshell. I could, of course, go into more detail and do it in a much more refined manner, but this is a quick overview as to how to quickly tune a vocal um, using Melodyne. Okay, so I'm now going to bounce this down to audio and then we can do some quick comparisons between the four repaired pieces of audio and you can make your mind up from there. Okay, so finally we've got all of our uh, tuning done. We've used four different methods, four different plugins, and we're going to just have a quick listen to see or hear the results. Now, don't forget that this was a real quick and dirty experiment. There was no fine tuning and um, it was just about giving you an overview as to what's possible with these plugins. I will be doing more extended tutorials on each of the plugins. However, for now, I'm just going to play the first phrase or phrases of the track, starting with the original um, lead vocal, then going to the messed up vocal and working my way through. So yeah, let's go. Saw you the other day. 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 Okay, so that's a wrap for today. Thank you so much for checking out the video and staying in tune with what I'm doing here. Do remember to check back. There'll be more tutorials on all of these plugins and more. Uh, continue to check the website for updates. And remember to, to like, comment and subscribe to the channel because I'll be bringing you more. It's great having you on board. This is Dr. Deuce. You take care now. Peace.